Hi, I am Stephanie Turrentine and I am a licensed full-time realtor in the greater Coachella Valley. I live in sunny Palm Springs, California, and today I want to share the difference between a condo versus a townhome. I have a lot of people ask me what the difference is, so today we're going to talk about that. So let's go to condominiums or condos. Imagine an apartment, but even better, because instead of renting it, you own it. Of all the types of homes on the market, condos really require the least amount of maintenance. You only need to maintain the walls that you live within. And I find that they're usually only one level. So doesn't that sound like an amazing choice for a first time buyer or for someone looking to downsize? Condos are a great choice for anyone who wants to keep their maintenance to a minimum. So let's think about it for a moment. Who are you? Are you a working professional? Are you older? Do you have any special limitations? Or maybe do you travel a lot? With a condo HOA to take care of things like maintenance and security, you don't have to worry about things like mowing the grass or arranging for trash pickup services. Now, I'm not gonna lie, HOA rules can be a little restrictive, meaning you may not get to customize your unit the way that you want it, or you have to clear those changes with the board. It's really not that big of a deal, but definitely something to consider. Let's talk about townhouses now. Townhouses usually offer multiple floors. They do have shared exterior walls with the neighbors. And one thing I do like about a townhome is that they usually come with a patio or a small yard, which is perfect if you're a pet owner. Likely there is still an HOA and there are some rules, but I do find that townhomes offer you a little bit more leniency with those rules. I also find that townhomes are a little more private than condos. However, a condominium community might offer more amenities like pool, rec room, clubhouse, and gym. I think that they're both great choices, especially if you're not looking for the maintenance that comes with a freestanding home. I think that the biggest difference between a condo and a townhome are the type of communities in which they're in and whether you want a home that's multi-level or single level. So I hope that this helped to answer your question, condo versus townhome. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my page, or comment below. Also, let me know, are you considering a condo or townhome purchase? New videos are released every Monday, so be sure to check back in. Let's talk about a townhouse. Most townhouses offer multiple floors, and although they do share walls, let's talk about townhouses now. Most townhouses offer multiple floors and have shared exterior walls with your neighbors. If you're a pet owner, you might like the fact that a townhouse